So, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest goalkeeper there's ever been. Nice the legendary Pat Jones. Today, Pat still works at Spurs as a host in the hospitality suites on match days. When he first came from Watford to Tottenham, there was a, a slight problem as much as Pat never used to say anything. And so we used to say the last time Pat said anything was when he said goodbye to his mum when he left Ireland. Thank you very much indeed for the pleasure over the years. No problem, man. Eh? All right. Wish you could do it again. Oh, yeah, don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> For the eight and a half years that I was here, I, I was lucky. I had Big Pat between the sticks all that time. He had a, a fantastic team back in the early 70s, and uh, he stopped them and I scored them. Where are you from? Uh, Newry. Oh, yeah? Newry, yeah? Just outside Hilltown. Oh, yeah, very good. Got a Hilltown man here. Oh, please, you're not on camera. Yeah, now, yeah. we are, yeah. You know, I was lucky to be here between 70 and 75 when he was playing fantastic. On the volley! Oh, and what a save again! You know, he was the best goalkeeper in the world, and I think he was just a great, great player. And you knew the ball, if the ball was coming in the box, he was coming, come out nine times out of ten and catch the ball. He was just a fantastic player. Jennings did to catch that one. We relied on him when we were in trouble. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and for the phone as well. There's a man who's just going to say hello to you. You won't believe when you see the picture. Enzo. 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 Hello. Enzo, how are you? This is the most famous Irish man you know. Who's that? <laughs> the header's there. The header's right there. Beat him. Oh, and somehow Jennings saved it. How on earth did the man do it? Good save by Pat Jennings. Well, Pat, I'm sure everything's changed a great day since you first came here, what, nearly 45 yeah. years ago? <laughs> well, I mean, the players, they'd be arriving now two hours, two and a half hours before kick-off. And our day, we would come and park up in the car park here, literally half an hour before the match, <laughs> run in and put your, your kit on and out you win. But uh, they've got so much more professional now. With the, the, uh, the warm-ups and that out on the pitch before, which never happened in our day, that was only possibly the last my last year, a couple of years, uh, maybe even then would have gone up the gym, the indoor gym for <laughs> half an hour before matches, but that was it. Not the only thing that's changed, the wages no. have changed a bit yeah, too. Yeah, that's it, slightly. <laughs> and the cars that are driving. Danny Blend's our suite and Bill Nicholson's suite here as well. Well, you're part of the furniture here. Uh, you uh, going to show us around? Been around a long time, yeah. <laughs> so Pat, you first came here way back in 1964. 64, unbelievable, whenever you look back. Uh, I'd just done 15 months at Wat Watford before that. And there's you in the Hall and of Fame there, there as yeah. we go past, yeah. But uh, no, there were great times and I mean Tottenham were the club in those, in those years. Uh, just won the double 60-61 and uh, the first uh, British team to win a European competition as well, 63. So uh, it was a big club and there was a lot of uh, demands in those days. But of course I at the 18 year old you just went along whatever was happening. For me it was somebody put me on the bottom rung of the ladder and working up from there. Dream come true for a teenager to be changing in the Tottenham Hotspur dressing room. Absolutely unbelievable. Is this the dressing room you could yeah, change in as well? It, yeah. Same today? Same, same today, yeah. We can have a look even though it's a match yeah, day, can yeah. we? Yeah. Hi Joe. All right. How are you mate? Millions of pounds worth on the wall there. <laughs> unbelievable, yeah. I mean, in our day, the dressing rooms were a lot bigger, and uh, the coaches, Bill and I concluded, used to get the uh, we all get chance together. Fracture the tibia or fibula? I couldn't believe it. Like when he said, he, you know, I thought, oh, he's just he's hurting himself. Like when he roared, you know. Hey, straight shot. He just missed it. Yeah. I mean, in our day, there used to be massive communal baths. Now we've actually got ice baths. Well, the players go into ice baths after the match. No thanks. I say, whenever you get to this stage, all the pressures have gone then the build up <laughs> to the matches. So this is when, I, when you hope you're going to be at your best. How do you feel even walking out here now? I mean, you played uh, almost yeah, 600 games like out there for a first of, bars. A lot of great memories, like just coming out and the, the reaction of the crowd to the team coming on onto the pitch. Some great memory. McDonald, Craig! Oh! Craig can't believe it! And the coolest man on the ground is undoubtedly Pat Jennings. Yeah. 
the stadium's obviously changed a lot and there, there are big plans for a, another redevelopment of White Hart Lane. Uh, yeah, I mean, when you look at this, I mean, this is, most people will be happy with this, but I mean, you've got to get now, we have 36 size in capacity and uh, the plans are for over 60,000. So, I mean, the demand's out there for tickets, so, and you can imagine much more revenue it's going to, uh, to raise as well and plus more hospitality areas. And I mean, that's where the main money comes from nowadays. They say players aren't pampered. Have a look at what's going on, cleaning these magnificent seats cool. for a football stadium. We probably had wooden benches in our day. You didn't have anything like this? No, no. Do you often wish you were, you were playing in this era and not the, uh, the time yeah, you did but play? Yeah, I mean, you're just thankful for the days you had. I mean, I had all 22, 23 years at the top. It makes that look so easy. I'd love to be starting again. 13 years here at Spurs, yep. going into your 14th season. How did you, you feel when, when you had to leave the club? Uh, disappointment. Obviously, I mean, uh, a big wrench to leave after all the years I've been here. Like whenever somebody says to you, well, you know, do you want to leave or you're not wanting any more contracts not being offered to you? Manchester United, Aston Villa and Ipswich were interested in signing him but Pat plumped for Spurs' biggest rivals, Arsenal. <laughs>